Good noonday to you and welcome to St. Paul's Episcopal Church. I am Mother Michelle Walker and I will be um, leading our Anglican Rosary Prayers for Advent 3. As a reminder, um, these prayers come from the book Praying with Beads, Daily Prayers for the Christian Year by Nan Lewis Doer and Virginia Stem Owens. And if you're a member here at St. Paul's, you likely picked up one of these little handouts um, that has the prayers for Advent listed right in them. Um, our prayers are being uh, blessed by these rosaries that were made by a colleague's mother. We will start at the cross, proceed to the first bead, the invitatory bead, proceed to the cruciform bead, of which there are four of those, and then continue around the circle in a counterclockwise fashion praying the weak beads, which are seven beads in between each of the cruciform beads. Let us take a moment and begin our prayers. Let us pray. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come among us. And because we are hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. 
John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us on our Advent journey of praying the Anglican Rosary. Please enjoy the morning and evening versions from our prayer guide and be welcome to join us next Tuesday for our prayers from the fourth and final week of Advent. Blessings to you.